right now. The Mid-South Certified Most Accurate Forecast. All right, good evening, everybody. We do have rain on the radar. As you can see, the heaviest activity is now east of Memphis. There were some heavy downpours earlier, and uh, really, if that would have gone on longer, there would have been some flooding also and some thunder and lightning in the area tonight, uh, but nothing severe, no high winds or uh, certainly no tornadoes or severe watches and warnings to worry about. Um, and things are a lot better now actually in Shelby County. They have improved a great deal just in the last hour. Temperatures are in the 60s and really uh, that's a big part of our weather story because overnight lows are going to be in the 60s for the next four or five nights. It's been a while since we've had that. As a matter of fact, we're not going to be used to that. We're used to these cooler nights in the 40s. So here we go. This is uh, overnight. This is at midnight, actually. Isolated showers and 65 degrees. It's possible the temperature does rise overnight. This is at 2 o'clock in the morning. Notice isolated showers continuing into tomorrow morning before finally uh, easing up a bit in the afternoon. This is at noon, 73 degrees as that rain moves out. Temperatures go up, and we may even see some sunshine in the afternoon. If that happens, uh, we'll easily pop into the 80s for highs. In fact, if we don't hit 80 tomorrow, we're going to be well into the 80s Friday, Saturday and Sunday. As a matter of fact, we may get our first taste of uh, early summer uh, here in a couple of days. So people have been saying, when's it, did this cool air going to be gone? We're going to be done. I'm ready for warmer weather. You've got it. It's coming tomorrow uh, and it is going to stick around for at least several days. Notice all those 80s headed into Friday night, still at 9 o'clock. We're talking about numbers in the mid 70s. Now your tomorrow forecast does show uh, rain chances going down, temperatures going up near 80 by the afternoon. If we don't hit 80, we'll be close. On Thursday, I do have that chance of rain in the morning. It is going to be warm on Friday with a high of 83, 84 on Saturday, mid 80s. Look at these overnight lows in the 60s several nights uh, from 40s. So that is a big change. 62 Monday morning. This is when a cold front is going to come through um, and that'll bring our next chance uh, for rough storms Sunday night into Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Notice uh, we're back to good weather highs in the 70s, lows in the 50s. It's almost Earth Day. Here's a cool way you can celebrate by watching shooting stars. NASA says you'll be able to see a meteor shower in the night sky tomorrow night. Of course, that's if it's not cloudy. Here's details on how you can observe the celestial phenomenon. Friday is Earth Day, and you can celebrate ahead of it with shooting stars. The Lyrid meteor shower peaks from Thursday night to Friday morning, leaving behind glowing trails of dust. If conditions are good, NASA says you could see up to 20 meteors an hour. The Lyrids sometimes surprise watchers with more than 100. Want to catch the pre-Earth Day light show? Your best chance may be waking up early. The best time is between the moon going down and the sun coming up. That's called the dark hours. NASA has some tips for the best Lyrid watching experience. First, get away from city or street lights. Then lie flat on a comfy blanket or lawn chair with your feet facing east. The meteors will appear to come from the constellation Lyra, the harp. But you should try to watch as much of the sky as possible. It may take 30 minutes for your eyes to adjust. And also, some of the best viewing is going to be coming early in the morning. Around six o'clock. So you gonna be up for that Friday? I'll DVR it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do for Earth Day on Friday? Celebrate the Earth. I always celebrate the Earth. Okay, so. you can tell us how later in the broadcast. I will. All right, stick around, everybody. Memphis has.